We're taking a few steps out of the lab this week to bring you an episode all about the humble backyard barbecue. I'm Daddy Clay. And I'm Daddy Brad. This week is brought to you by One Step Ahead. Great baby gear for every step of the way, one step ahead. You know, Daddy Brad, I have to say that in my 10 years of fatherhood, I have to say that, that most of my, my most contented memories, my happiest memories take place just, just right here at the grill, backyard barbecue. It's not, my ideal perfect day. Yeah, not a, not a big production. A few friends, a few burgers, a few cold drinks, ah, something to distract the kids. Daddy Nirvana. Yeah, you don't want a big deal. A big deal, that's entertaining. We're talking about backyard barbecue, having a good time. If you don't have time, to have a, a backyard barbecue every so often, you got problems, dude. Yeah, let's look at the basic ingredients of a good backyard barbecue. Now, to me, uh, a good cookout is not too kid-centric, right? You want to watch them being really cute and playing while you enjoy an adult beverage. So you want to give them something to distract them. Playscape is great. It rocks. They have so much fun, but it's pretty familiar. So you might want to spice things up a little bit, give them a little twist. Maybe just a sprinkler is good enough. Gift from my sister-in-law. Awesome. Go with one of these cool inflatables from one step ahead, you're done. The classics just work. Burgers, dogs, sausage, maybe some chicken, maybe a shrimp. Don't get too fancy. You know, no wasabi encrusted infused ham sandwich with artichoke heart puree. You don't need that, man. You don't need to go overboard. Do the basics. Burgers, dogs, bun. Fun. So, what goes in the cooler? Well, of course, you got your, uh, you got your juice boxes. Yeah, sure. What you really want is plenty of beer and wine. Now, I know a lot of people feel a little bit uncomfortable drinking around the kids. <laughs> You're not invited, so you can just stay the hell home. Me, I want to make sure I have plenty of beer. Not, not too fancy, basic, but I do like to have a light, also dark. I love these cases. Right now, they're selling at Costco, the Modelo, that's got both the dark style and the light. Perfect for me. And then, of course, plenty of the good old American standby for Daddy Brad. Lots of it. Case, two, two cases, because he's he's gonna get loaded. Uh, also, I, I like to keep the wine there for the ladies. Uh, cheap, Australian, fine for me. Liter and a half is what I prefer. That way I'm not pulling corks the whole time. And you know what, I gotta tell you, I'm not afraid of the pink. I'm the, You can't scare me with this pink stuff. It's summertime, drinks good, tastes nice. You'd be surprised. Lots of good pinks out there now. And don't, don't even think it, okay? Because I like pink, all right? Bring it on. Really, and a red too. Put a red on the ice chest. I don't care. Keeps it cool. It's hot out here. Make sure you got plenty of it. You don't want to run out. Don't have to do anything too fancy. Just make sure it's plentiful. A few friends. This is a good example. You don't want too many of these assholes around. Any more than four couples and their kids, you've got a big production. And you don't want a big production. So you know, it's, it's late in the day, and the sun's going down, the music's playing, you smell the food cooking on the barbecue, and my little son walks up to me and says, hold me, daddy. I mean, that is just, it's absolutely a 10. That is my perfect moment. Yeah, the key is low key. If it gets too big or too fancy, you won't do it. And you should do it. Oh, backyard barbecue. It's essential. Yeah, I mean, you know. If you don't have time for it, I'm telling you, you gotta reorder your priorities, get those backyard barbecues in. Yeah. And we wanna hear from you. Please, come talk to us. Go right now to dadlabs.com, click on community, and join us there to talk about what makes the ideal barbecue, what goes on the grill, what goes in the cooler, what do you use to distract the kids? Tell us everything you think that goes into the perfect backyard barbecue. Are you a gas or a charcoal guy? How do you keep the bugs away? Talk about it, man. And all you folks that are lurkers, you watch but you don't comment, Come on, comment, let us know. And use the new features on our new community site. You can upload pictures of your kids at the Backyard Barbecue. You can even do your own Dad Labs video. Upload it there. Participate, we want to talk to you, we want to hear from you. Let's get this conversation started. We'll see you back at the site. That's all for us here at the lab.